Toby Gain from Wessex Archaeology Coastal Marine. Uh, the Coastal Marine team at Wessex Archaeology do a wide range of uh, marine projects for various clients, but on this occasion we're working for Historic England as part of their marine protected uh, marine protection program. We're here at the Manacles uh, today on the site of HMS Primrose, which is a, a Royal Navy vessel that went down in 1809. And we're basically looking to see what level of material is on the seabed. Um, we're trying to find out uh, the, the nature, the state, uh, state of preservation, characteristics, uh, and the extent of the site to be able to report back to Historic England who are, who are funding this work. Um, at the moment we've done one dive, so we're not quite sure how much is on the site, uh, but we will be, be doing more to, to get a better picture of what's down there. The, um, so far on the, on the one dive we've encountered uh, some sort of machinery. Uh, it, when I first came across it, it did look uh, as though it had uh, the characteristics of a cannon, i.e. it had uh, opposing trunnions on either side, but actually on clearing the kelp away, it was evident it wasn't uh, a cannon and, and it had uh, much more uh, interesting features in, in terms of you know, other, other machinery coming out of it. So I'm not quite sure what that is, but it may be some sort of winching gear, windless, something like that. So we'll, we'll go back and have another, another look at that and clear more kelp away. Um, but we've also found um, what are probably uh, knees and bracing for, for the wooden vessel and also uh, some cannonballs including some very large ones that look like 32 pounders that the Primrose would have been carrying. Um, so there's quite a lot of material down there and uh, no doubt there's more to find.